In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite Blitz in Madden right now. This Blitz is absolutely insane. You are going to get so many people free, and to be honest with you, this Blitz might be patched before long, so make sure to run this. This is insanely good. It is the best Blitz that I've found to date out of the Nickel Triple, and I can't wait to share it with you now. Real quick before we dive into it, make sure to subscribe. If you've not subscribed yet, I post videos every single day that can help you get insane pressure in Madden. And, all, and, and we don't just show blitzes, we show all kinds of content. We share with you how you can create better coverage schemes. Uh, we try, we're doing a lot of videos on defense this year because defense is so hard. But we also do a lot of content on offense as well. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Now, like I said, I am so, I'm so jacked to share this. This is an insanely hot. I mean, this, this blitz is an insane. It really is. Um, I, this blitz is so hard to, to pick up. I can't wait to share it with you. If you've not got the nickel triple defense, um, my full defensive ebook for nickel triple is in the description. Nickel triple is insane. It's got the best blitzes that I've seen. Um, the most dominant overpowering a gap blitzes that I've seen in Madden 22. This is probably the best, um, the best blitzing defense in Madden since, um, probably like Madden 25. I mean, that's how good these blitzes are. So I can't wait to jump into the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want the ebook, there's a link in the description. You can get it. It's on sale for 15 bucks. The play we're using is Nickel Triple, Nickel Blitz 2. You could use any of the Nickel Blitzes. You can actually do this out of any play, but I think it works best out of the Nickel Blitzes. So the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to show Blitz. We're going to globally Blitz our linebackers. Now, really, really important. You're going to zone out both linebackers on the left side. So you're going to see here, I'm going to zone out... Um, I'm going to zone out this guy right here, uh, golden. And then I'm going to, well, I wouldn't zone out. I would zone out one of them and then I would man one of them up on the running back. So you see here, I'm going to man Williams up on the running back. So we're creating a one, two, three, five man overload to the left. Now, um, and then the last step is we're going to blitz this defensive back off the left side, just like that, that safety that came down. So if you're playing bunch, it makes sense to go ahead and man up that left side guy. So you got cover two to that right side. Um, you're going to bail in that. So if there's anything at the seam, that's yours. But this pressure is going to come in so fast. If they don't, I mean, it, they're, they're going to have to make a quick read. So you could drop, mess around with dropping that linebacker on the left into a, uh, you know, a hook, hook zone right whatever but watch this blitz this is insane snap the ball you're gonna see here we're getting edge heat now that that part of that part of the reason that uh some of my loopers got picked up was because i was sitting at the line of scrimmage for so long so i want to just kind of run this i'm gonna set this up super super fast uh so you can see it so again here's your blitz snap the ball and there you see now we're coming gap pressures everywhere you're gonna get so much gap pressure out of this defense it's insane it really truly is um this is my favorite defense in the game right now you're just gonna stand right here as you see uh oftentimes i'm gonna get a gap if i don't get a gap i will get double edge pressure uh pretty much every single time and what's really really cool about this uh what's really really cool about this defense is that left side safety that we're blitzing what is kind of like your fallback he's almost always coming free most of the time the safety and the nose tackle will do what they just what just happened right there so let me jump into instant replay and show you what you're going to get as you can see here um at the snap of the ball look at that i've got defensive tackle a gap pressure and i've got left edge pressure coming completely clean at the quarterback that's insane it's insanely fast it's insanely hard to pick up and it's insanely consistent that you're going to at least get one if not two people completely clean through some gap it's either going to come through the a gap or it's going to come through the b gap and then you're always going to get this pressure off the left edge now why this is so good and I'm going to show it in just a second, is when they start blocking people, you're going to see that them blocking people is not necessarily going to help them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start by blocking the running back. This is why I like to recommend to man that left of screen 
uh, gap linebacker up on the running back. So you see here's your play. We man up the running back. Watch, he's going to move the running back. And as you see, you're going to get a, you're still going to get pressure. You're going to probably get – he might pick up that safety. There are times, I will tell you, there are times where he does not pick that safety up and the blitz will completely come free anyway off that edge. Um, but if that happens, most of the time you see that I'm getting the A gap and edge off of the opposite side. And that's what makes this, this defense so special is we just get so much pressure and we're just – we're really not – we're only blitzing six people. We're only blitzing six people, okay? And you're going to get insane amount of pressure. Um, let me show the blocked running back one more time, and then we'll show something else. As you see, there's the, the defensive tackle A-gap. And like I said, the odds of that defensive tackle A-gap are pretty much 90% of the time you're going to get that defensive tackle A-gap. The, the reason we're having a little bit of issue in practice mode is because we don't have the unpredictable ability on him. But if you have the unpredictable ability, you're going to get this really, really consistently. Now, I will tell you that the delay fade to the tight end to me, um, will help pick up this pressure off of the left side. So the safety pressure that we're getting against a blocked running back, if they block their tight end, I found that that will occasionally pick this up. But most of the time, you're going to get some pressure through that B gap off that right edge if they delay fade the tight end. The delay fade is by far, in my opinion, the best adjustment that they can make uh, to, to picking this up is they can delay fade that tight end just because what happens is the, the whole line will basically shift over. But I will tell you, again, if you get the unpredictable ability on that nose tackle, you will still get some A-gap pressure. Now let me show you what happens against Gun Bunch Max Protect uh, whenever we run this. So again, I'm just going to set up the exact same play art. And then as you see, I'm kind of standing right in here. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to get looping A-gap pressure against Gun Bunch Max Protect. So really the best chance that they have at blocking this is um, is to delay fade the tight end. Now I'm going to show you another adjustment we can make, and that's where we can basically click on to Murphy here. And if they're doing that delay fade, we're just going to put Murphy on a purple zone. And if they're doing that, as you see here, you're going to have a pretty good chance at getting that delay fade to basically auto go out on a route. And I'll show that one more time because I didn't get a good animation there. But again, we're just going to use her. Um, you you could I would probably use her this guy here. Um, let me see if I can get this to work. So I'm just going to use her, this guy, like right over the tight end. We're still doing everything else the same, as you can see. And then now if they delay fade their tight end, oftentimes this delay fade will go automatically out on a route and you'll be able to get instant pressure anyway. Again, we don't have any problem getting pressure against Max Protect Bunch. We don't have any problem getting pressure against uh, the running back blocking. The one thing that does give this a little bit of issue, and I mean a little bit of issue, it doesn't always, it really doesn't pick up this the majority of the time. But if they delay fade their tight end, you'll see here, um, if, they're, if, if we don't have unpredictable, it can pick up the A gap pressure. So that being said, um, the way that you can combat that, there's another blitz that we can do. If we notice that they're going to delay fade their tight end a lot, then instead of dropping or instead of blitzing uh, that safety, we'll go ahead and just leave this guy on the right side blitzing here. And what you'll see is oftentimes we'll get this looping pressure or that disengage off that right side. So basically what's going to happen is instead of trying to get any pressure from the left, now we're just going to shift gears and we're going to try to get pressure off the right. Now if you really want to gas them up, especially against a delay fade, just bl keep that blitzing guy on that left side. And as you see right here, you're going to get looping a gap and edge heat. So there's just so much potential in the nickel triple man. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I absolutely love this defense, uh, especially against the bunch meta. So if you want to get access to my my full nickel triple defensive ebook, it's on sale in the description. And like I said, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love the base rush. The base rush from this is insane. You're going to get so much pressure at the uh, quarterback it's absolutely crazy to me um, you're going to get disengages you're going to get a gap pressures and like i said when you mix these pressures in with the coverage setups that we have in the ebook as well as um, some of the ability cocktails and some of the other things you can do just to make this even better you're going to find this defense is so much fun to run it really is and when you mix in pressure at the right time from nickel triple you're going to get pressure and you're going to force them to have to either to get a sack or throw the ball into a covered area of the field 
field. So that's our goal with this defense. I absolutely love this defense. It's my favorite defense in the game right now. You can create so many unique types of pressure looks, and we've broken every single one of them down in our nickel triple ebook, as well as coverages to match it, run defensive, and we how you can actually use the nickel triple in the goal line to be able to consistently stop QB sneak, fullback dive, and power O. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full nickel triple defensive ebook it's on sale for fifteen dollars all you have to do to get it is i put a link in the description so just head down to the description of the video click the link that is there for you take it'll take you right to the website where you can get the guide uh for just 15 bucks